it's not revolutionary. It's not a new source of energy, but it could be a game changer because the industry has been haunted for 50 years by this bottleneck, the lack of a battery. That's why we never entered the solar age. People wonder, how come we don't have wind farms everywhere? How come utilities have overcapacity? Because of the lack of a reliable storage. And that's where this comes in. But if this is being charged, admittedly by solar, that it's environmentally mm -hmm. good, mm -hmm. but if it's just being charged from the grid, even at low peak hours, does that benefit us in terms of an environment? Not necessarily, because coal plants provide most of the energy, and coal is polluting. And this is a storage medium. It is not a generating medium for energy. It's not nuclear, it's not coal, it's not oil. It's a storage facility. That's why the solar age and the wind power age could be initiated, because when the sun doesn't shine, you can now store the energy and use it at night. So that's the reason why we never entered the solar age, because of the storage problem. Right. This could solve that. Uh, but, but it doesn't solve the environmental problem right. of carbon dioxide. Well, arguably, some would say, if, you're not, uh, if it's not at peak time, if it's overnight, mm -hmm. then the energy generation can be more... Uh, it could be more constant that's rather right. than peaks and troughs. But that's I, right. I suspect that's not what this is about. Well, look at the utilities. Utilities have to plan for peak summer. Right. That means during the year they have 30% excess capacity that they don't need. This could even out the fluctuations. Now, you're a futurist, if you don't mind me mm -hmm. using that phrase. Mm -hmm. you, you, you look... With what you see what Musk has done with the cars, the Tesla, with the space, with the SpaceX, with this, what do you make of it? Is he a, is he a visionary or is he a wealthy man who's just going on foibles? Well, it's more than just a boy with a toy. We're talking yeah. about a man that sees a gap. He sees a hole, and he knows that technology can, technology can fill the hole. But timing is everything. You jump in too early, the technology is not ready. You type it, you go in too late, you slow, you blow. So he knows when to jump in, in terms of billing uh, cyberspace and billing technology with PayPal, reusable rockets with SpaceX. Uh, he knows when to jump in. Ah. He says now's the time because battery power is getting 8% more efficient every year. It could drop by 50% in the coming years, and demand rises, and the two curves could collide very soon. Right, they may collide very soon, but is he going to go bust? I mean, I mean, financially, is this fundamentally a good idea that he's come up with? I think he's onto something, and I think that, you know, he, uh, he's shown that he is a businessman. He's more than just a visionary. He knows how to count the dollars. He knows uh, the bottom line is, you know, yeah. the checks book's got to balance, right? And so that's why, like Steve Jobs, initially didn't get both. He didn't get the technology and the bookkeeping right. Elon Musk has shown that he can do the bookkeeping. Will you watch the, will you watch the fight tomorrow? No. <laughs> Very wise.